Hey, how you going guys? Uh, Daily vlog, we're back here again. Some awesome news today. Um, gonna start off with 100 subscribers. Uh, I honestly never thought that would happen. Uh, started off this channel doing my fishing videos from a team that would fish in the Barra Classic. Um, and it's just grown into a passion and a hobby for me and I'm just loving it. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy that uh, at least 100 of you, or I think 103 of you, uh, enjoying what I'm doing. So yeah, thanks very much to all you guys. Uh, so for that, I thought I'd better do something, I guess it's a bit of a milestone for me. So we're gonna be giving away one of our gear bags, our waterproof gear bags, the Tigers gear bags, and one of these hats. Uh, I've got lar the larger size, the one size fits all, the Puka brand, which is awesome. Thanks Puka and Top It Off Hat Company. They did them for us over in the States. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be giving away one of them. So let me know a small, either a small, medium or large XL. I think they come in the two sizes. To do that, um, I need you to comment on this vlog. Um, and on the 18th of July, Thursday the 18th of July, Australian time. Uh, remember we're one day, I guess, in front of the States and a little bit behind and England, I think as well, the European ones. Um, just comment below what was your favorite video that I've, you've watched so far and I'll just randomly pick out uh, a winner for that when I get home from work and I'll arrange to send that off to you. So yeah, thanks very much guys to all your subscribers. Uh, it's been awesome having a ball, learning so much. As I said, it's become a new hobby and I'm, I just get excited about making videos. It's just the actual process of making a video, learning how to edit on Premiere Pro, using a camera again, which I used to do when I was a kid. I loved photography, so being able to uh, do that and share it um, with everyone through Instagram, um, Facebook and now YouTube is yeah pretty cool and um yeah it's so it give me something to really strive towards so yeah loving it. Um, now also yesterday was another fun day for me. I would luckily enough I won a prize on the Ken Heron Channel uh, TNL show, which was pretty darn cool. I haven't won anything for a long time, so it's it's always good even if it's a, just a little little prize. So yeah, if uh, you're a drone enthusiast and you're into drones. Uh, you've got to watch this guy. He's a fantastic. He's so funny. Uh, does a great live show. I think once a week. Um, does a heap of great videos on drones. Uh, so if you're looking to buy him one, definitely check out his channel, Ken Heron. Uh, I'll put the link down below on this video, so you've got all the information to catch up and watch along with him. Um, there's heaps of Aussie guys on there that watch him. Um, so yeah definitely catch up with him he's pretty cool that so that was pretty exciting thanks Ken if you're watching uh, yeah it made me day definitely that was pretty cool and the last thing I want to talk about is or next thing I want to talk about is the new video finally got up uh, after four hours of uploading because uh, our internet is absolutely terrible here out in the desert um, yeah very painful I think we had <clears throat> two, mega se two megabytes a second is our free Wi-Fi. Uh, I ended up having to change it over to the phone and that still took two hours. It's the only way I could get it up. Uh, the Telstra network in Australia and any internet in Australia is pretty much useless. You're lucky if I pay 130 bucks a month at home and the best I can do is about 80 megabytes a second through Telstra and they're just woeful to deal with. <clears throat> so, um, so coming as part of that internet discussion is I watched a video on YouTube about SpaceX yesterday and what uh, Tesla's doing and Elon Musk um, with his SpaceX program uh, to gain funding for their space missions and everything they're doing with their rockets and stuff like that. They are creating, I think it's called the Sky... Sky Sky Network or something like that. It sounds very Terminator-ish, I know, but it's basically six thousand low-cost satellites, about three hundred grand a pop, and they're going to be orbiting the planet in a like a, a grid mesh type scenario, and that's basically going to allow internet, like high-speed internet, to everyone on the planet. 
I mean, villages in Africa, um, in South America, you can be in the middle of nowhere, up the top of Machu Picchu and get full high-speed internet. It's going to destroy all these crappy telcos that don't look after their customers because I know I'll be the first one to jump because at the moment we have no option here at work. We have to use Telstra and they have a monopoly because they've got all the hardware in Australia um, and the other companies haven't been able to get their things on the towers or they just don't worry about it out in the bush. Um, <clears throat> so that I can't wait for that to happen. Uh, they launched, I think about a week, week or so ago, they launched the first 60 satellites out of 6,000 of them that's going to be floating around. Um, Speed-wise, it's going to be the, the main cable that goes from London to New York is about 67 milliseconds. Um, and this is going to be, I think, around the 40 to 50 milliseconds. So it's going to be faster than the best interconnection, internet connection on the planet. And... Yeah, wow, that's all I can say. Elon Musk, you're, you're an absolute legend because I know there'd be 20 plus million Australians that'll be going, thank God, and they, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to jump on you and just dump Telstra in a heartbeat. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that was awesome. So, yeah, I thought I'd bring that up because the internet here has always been a constant issue. Um, at one stage there, yeah, was taking three to four hours to load a 30 minute video just to watch a TV show because they cut all our TV, our old internet service out and replaced it with Wi-Fi. That doesn't really work. Um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. On, and that video, you can check it out on YouTube. Um, it's a pretty cool thing. I thought you'd uh, all appreciate that. Um, what else have we got coming up? Obviously, iCast is coming up. Uh, I'm in the process of editing the new video for the channel. Um, obviously, the gaming one's up. Uh, pretty happy with how that went. Hope you enjoy it. Definitely get on and check that out. Uh, I'm currently doing the Perth Mint one. Um, you can get to see the one ton gold coin that's on display. Uh, it's going on tour I think at the moment this month it starts on tour so it's going to be away for a while but it's a one ton solid gold coin worth about 71 million dollars that's uh, displayed in the Perth Mint. I got to check that out before it went on tour and yeah it was pretty cool. Uh, it's a great little tour. Uh, you get to see a live gold pour, uh, some old, it's a beautiful historic old building so I got some nice photos of that. So just putting that all together and yeah, it should hopefully be coming out in the next couple of days. Uh, other than that, there's still a heap of more videos that I got from uh, my break. I'll be getting them up to the week and that's a bit, just another day. Anyway, um, don't forget, check out Ken Harren if you're into drones on YouTube. Go suss out the uh, new video for the gaming, Perf's Gaming. Uh, console museum awesome I had an absolute ball there and they're a great great bunch of guys that uh, hooked us up there so that was awesome thanks to them at nostalgia box uh, you can google that i'll put the link down below on this one as well so you can get that it's also in the actual video and <clears throat> the 100 subscriber competition make sure you give us a comment below let me know your favorite video that i've put up so far Gives me an idea of uh, what content you just want. Um, I'm trying to, I guess, find my niche and learn what I, what you do and don't want. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to do pretty much anything. Any requests, let me know and I'll try and work it out. Anyway, have a fantastic day and it's good to see you all again. And I hope you're not too hungover from July the 4th for you guys in the States. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Woo! -hoo!